Black Dice is a little experiment, a spooky card game where you try and extinguish the moon. It was made for the GMTK Game Jam 2022, hosted by the one and only Mark Brown. Here's a short story on how I made this video game, from the early failed prototypes and tools used to brainstorming in the mountains and finally completing the project. But first, this video is sponsored by Stream. This is an awesome Unity integration that will allow you to implement a full chat and feed system inside of your game. For example, if you wanted to make a chat system for your online multiplayer RPG, then Stream would be one of the best solutions you could choose. Rather than spend a massive amount of energy on your own solution, using Stream will give you a fully scalable, reliable, real-time chat with critical features like moderation, user roles, anti-spam, high security, and more. Stream provides scalable chat API solutions for more than a billion end users worldwide. We even made a two-part tutorial series on stream, which will show you exactly how to get it working inside of Unity, step by step. So whether you want to make a fun clan system, the next Among Us, or a beautiful chat for your open world MMO, then Stream should be your go-to solution. You can apply for Stream's maker accounts to do Stream's chat SDK for free using the link in the description. With that said, back to GMTK 2022. Every game jam has a theme. This is usually one word or a short sentence which you must base your game around. Previous GMTK jams had themes such as only one. There I teamed up with Jonas Tyroller and made a game about strange creatures called Snots that live for only one minute. There was also Out of Control, again I teamed up with Jonas, as well as Yan, and we made a manic nursery simulator where a poor man needs to manage a group of pyromaniacal children. This year, the theme was Roll of the Dice. Immediately I thought back on Good Afternoons playing Dungeons and Dragons, the feel of that d20 in the palm of my hands, ready to launch a fireball in a gurgling goblin. Perhaps I could create a board game, or maybe a mini role-playing adventure. As you can see from these pages, my imagination was going wild. There was a bunch of possibilities. I thought of a puzzle game where you must unlock doors by rolling dice, a prison simulator where for some reason the inmates are dice, perhaps a strategy base building game where you roll dice around and the total results creates some effects, from dice growing arms and legs and running around to automatic dice spawners and even new dice being created such as legendary D100s. Not completely satisfied with any of my many increasingly vague concepts, I decided I'd better start somewhere, lest I get into some creative block. From experience, I know that sometimes you've just got to run with a vague idea and see what happens. So I was going to make a base building strategy game where little dice are the main characters. I'm currently working on a game called Dwarves and Cathedrals and feeling very inspired to work on strategy games. So I drew some simple black dice using Photoshop. Then I brought those into Unity and added some simple physics namely a 2D box collider and rigid body so that my dice are affected by gravity. Then I added a simple force field mechanic where players can left click and create an invisible explosion that throws dice around the scene. This looked and felt really satisfying, especially when there's hundreds of little black dice. But it's around this point that I began to stall. I had no real clue what this game was about and the answers weren't showing up as I had hoped they would. So I returned to the drawing board, imagining dice as tiny worlds or a grid-like puzzle game with dice maybe something with patterns. I quite liked this rough silhouette sketch though, at least I was sure I wanted to make a mysterious game, something to do with the moon and black inky dice. Dice that reveal themselves to be monsters was also very appealing. I could imagine giant, sharp spider legs exploding from the dice and crawling towards the player. With hindsight, perhaps I should have fully embraced working on visuals and atmosphere by creating a small adventure with monstrous dice. It's what inspired me the most at that moment anyway. Once again, I had no concrete idea for mechanics and rule sets I wanted to make, so I just made a new Unity project and made a slightly spooky environment with dark hills and an enormous glowing moon. I even added a little town since at some point I thought that perhaps I could make my strategy base building dice game. Spoiler alert, that never happens. Instead, I took the car and went for a little journey around the hills, close to where I live, hoping to find a bit more clarity. Yeah, it feels good to be in fresh air, in nature, gonna try and rethink my game idea so I can come back and really have a good action plan for day two. This looks like a good spot for some brainstorming. Okay, I think I have a better idea Wouldn't now. say I'm like 100% satisfied with this, this new idea, which uh, mixes kind of card games and, uh, and the dice, of course. But since I've more or less got only one day left, I think it's time to leave the perfectionist behind and just get down to it. Returning from the mountains a wiser man, I finished the day by creating this cool animation, which adds real appeal and juice to these chunky black dice. Day 2, final sprints. I had to hope this card game idea was good, as there wouldn't be much time to make any drastic changes. So I made a card graphic, added some text, 
and began setting up the mechanics. As you'll see in just a moment, the rules are quite original, but also judging from the comments and my own gut feeling, pretty confusing. I was fully aware the game would be tough to explain with just some text, but I wouldn't have time to make an interactive tutorial. Still, I ploughed on, satisfied that at least I was getting out of my comfort zone and trying new ideas. Basically, you can play cards that roll dice into the world. Then there's cards such as Attack, which will deal damage to the poor moon equal to the sum total of your dice. Each card costs magic, which can also be acquired with cards. But in case you run out of the precious stuff, you can play cards using health. Sacrifice means you'll deal damage to yourself, again, equal to the sum total of your current dice. So when you fully understand the rules, it becomes a pretty interesting, fast-paced card game where you must manage your two main resources, magic and health. You want to get loads of dice into the world to deal massive damage to the moon, but also need to be careful since that power can backfire when you play a sacrifice card. I let players destroy dice for free, so in case they have hardly any health, they can remove all dice power and play sacrifice cards in the hopes of drawing better options without taking too much damage and losing. I then beautifies the card by removing the text and replacing it with stylish icons, but I'm not sure that was a good idea. Perhaps it just adds an extra layer of confusion to an already tricky game. Sometimes I get a bit carried away and prioritize form over a function. Right at the end, I also added audio, a nice ambient buzz, spooky and atmospheric, and a bunch of crunchy sound effects. I didn't make any of these from scratch, I just used this excellent ultimate sound effects bundle from the Asset Store. And speaking of Asset Store, we just launched our first ever official Unity pack on the store. It's completely free. 100 fantasy characters you can use in whatever projects you like. Each character even has their own animations, the link is in the description. So that's a wrap on this game jam and to my card game, Black Dice. Loved making it, quite happy with how it turned out, especially the arts, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this little experiment. The main takeaway is a good reminder not to be afraid to make mistakes. That's partly what game jams are for, experimentation and discovery. No point making the same old success, you've just got to sketch out an idea and try it fast. The faster you fail and pump out those bad prototypes, the quicker you can get to those gold nuggets deep below. With that said, let me know if you took part in the GMTK Game Jam and what you created. Thanks a ton for watching, stay tuned, cheers!